welcome back to my channel welcome to my first makeup tutorial i was gonna say this year but it's literally been months since i've sat down and just done my makeup with you and it was honestly so nice i really miss doing these sort of videos obviously i love vlogging but because i upload three times a week i don't want my videos to become repetitive and i want to change up a little bit and i love beauty fashion lifestyle like those are the sort of things that i'm really into so i just thought i'd film a makeup tutorial so yeah and it's also been really highly requested as well every time i ask you guys over on my instagram page what videos you want to see so many of you like the majority at the moment is makeup and i figured because most of us are at home in lockdown which is fun it's really nice to have that extra me time and i feel like there's so much more to makeup than just putting it on and looking glam there's so much more to it i feel like it's very therapeutic it gives you that extra me time i always get my ipad out i put my youtube on and i just like having that time in the morning just to get ready and it's really fun experimenting as well so if you haven't got ready in a while and you're thinking i really want to just do it even if you take a few pictures after or just to make yourself feel better i highly recommend it because every time i get ready I feel like I just feel a lot better about myself. Now, just a disclaimer, I know this is my personal sort of everyday slash go-to makeup look. I don't wear this every single day. This is what I wear if I'm just putting makeup on film or to go somewhere, not that we can anymore, but obviously before. Or if I need to shoot for Instagram, or anything like that, this is the sort of makeup look that I would do. In my previous vlog, I also filmed my very simple and natural skincare makeup which is literally all skincare and i think i used one makeup product and that was it so if you're looking for more of a very natural more skincare based makeup that i did film that very recently so check out my latest vlog if you want to see that i'll also link it down below yeah i really hope you guys are excited for today's video grab your cups of coffees your teas get really cozy or if you want to get ready with me then we can do our makeup together but yeah if you want to see how to get this makeup look then please keep watching okay so to curl my hair i'm going to use the molly may times beauty works curling wand this is the first one that she brought out um, I really want to try the second one, so I might buy that soon and let you guys know how it is. I've had a lot of questions on how I use heated rollers, but I thought if you guys like sort of get ready with me and things like that, I could do a dedicated video just to using the heated rollers because I've had a lot of questions about it. But I thought I'd just use the one today just because I used it the other day and I loved it. Okay, so I put my hair into three sections on each side. Um, you guys have seen me curl my hair so many times, but in case you're new, hello. I basically, because of the thickness and the length of my hair, I found a way to do my hair that's just easy now. So if I curl it, it's just it's like a reflex. I just do it every time. So the bottom section, I'm going to split into three or oh, four. Mm three yeah i'm gonna split into three and literally just curl so each side of my hair is i like to curl away from my face so the hair's going backwards each way so the right side i'm not gonna curl it the same way i'm gonna curl it opposite um just because it flows better that way and i've just always done it like that so yeah i just keep it on here this curling wand i keep it on for a little bit longer than i did my foxy locks one but the foxy locks one is sold out now um, so I thought I'd share this one because you guys can pick this up and you can't pick up the Foxy Locks one at the moment. So I thought I would share this. So yeah, I'm literally going to do this to my whole head and then I'll come back when we can do makeup together. Although I'll put this on a time lapse so you can see me doing this super fast. I mean, I wish it was that easy, but... <laughs> So my hair is all curled, looking like this. I've just put loads of hairspray in it um, and I never brush it out straight away just because it's still a little bit warm. And when you leave it for like an hour or so, it just gives it time to drop. And then when you brush it out, I feel like the curls last so much longer. So I'm just gonna put it behind. And then I'm gonna grab these clips. These are called No Bend Clips. I picked them up on Amazon and they're really good. So they look like this and they've got like a plastic plate thing here and it basically won't kink your hair and it's really good because it just holds it out of the way 
so I'm just gonna pop one here and here <laughs> up my face and then we can begin with makeup so I always start off with the LMS soothing apricot toner this is such a lovely product and I just sort of spritz it everywhere it's a really nice refreshing product especially when you're feeling a bit tired and a bit like oh when you put it on it just refreshes you and it's amazing i am then going to go in with the olay beauty fluid you guys know this is my all-time favorite has been for about 10 years it's the best moisturizer to use underneath makeup i genuinely haven't found another moisturizer that's as good to go underneath because it just like every time i put makeup over the top it will just sort of peel off it's really odd this is the best and not to mention it's like five pounds so really recommend i then do my eyebrows next i know everyone has their own order of how they do it but i've just done it like this for years so i'm going to use the iconic london brow silk and i'm going to use the brush i think it comes with it and then also their prep set and glow i just shake it how beautiful is that i shake it and then i put one spritz on the brush and it looks like this and it's basically like a wax and this looks like a toothbrush, it's so cool. I cover the end of it in the wax and then I use this to do a brow lamination look. So I'll do it to one eyebrow so you can see. And basically you can push the hairs in any sort of direction that you want. And you can see it just creates a fuller and fluffier brow. I don't like it sticking up as much so I sort of get the brush and go around but I like the hairs to be up because it looks thicker. I'm then going to use the Benefit Browsing's Pro Palette and I sort of mix these two shades together. This is more of a pomade and I find the pomade with the wax works really well together and I just sort of fill in any sort of sparse areas. I haven't got a specific routine, I just sort of fill in any areas that you know need to be filled or I want to create more of like an arch shape or anything like that. So I'm then going to grab my Born This Way concealer in the shade Golden Beige. I just pop a little bit on my hand like that and I grab my concealer brush and I literally just sort of carve out my eyebrows. The shade might be a bit light. so I'm then going to use the Benefit 24 hour brow setter I honestly haven't found a brow setter that's as good as this it's just amazing and I just sort of put the product in the direction I want my hairs to go so I sort of go a bit up and then as it gets to my arch I'll sort of go round so for primer I'm going to use the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Primer I do about this much and then I'll evenly distributed across my face i focus on my t-zone and then any extra i'll put like on my cheeks um but i really like to do any sort of smile lines and stuff like that just because i find my makeup creases less throughout the day and i really push the primer in to my skin i also like to do it under my eye and then up here I do really like this product, but I think my favourite primer I've used is the Urban Decay All Nighter. I need to go and buy a new one because that primer is amazing. It's like sticky, so your makeup sticks to it. It's amazing, but this is actually really good as well. So, for foundation, I've actually been mixing two together at the moment. I've been using the Dior Skin Nude Air. It's like a serum tint in the shade 30. This is amazing. It's got a little pipette. I always feel like I'm saying it wrong, pipit, am I saying that right? Um, here, so you sort of collect the foundation. It is very liquidy though, that's one thing I would say about this. It's so liquidy, I've had a lot of errors where I put it on my face and it's just fallen onto my clothes, which you guys know, when foundation goes onto your clothes, it's just the worst thing. Um, so I'm trying to like work out a good way to do it because if I put it on my hand it just sort of drips off so still in work in progress with that but the consistency of that is beautiful and then I'm using the natural radiant longwear foundation in the shade Barcelona so I sort of mix them together on my hand I create like a little look you can see it just runs <laughs> you've got to be so careful so I'm just gonna pop this around my face it might look a little bit lighter than my skin because I fake tanned 
but I feel like these foundations oxidizes, which means the more you sort of blend it in and the more oxygen gets to it, the darker they get. I need to get like an actual foundation brush. Maybe that's something to consider next. Well, this year actually for Amaro's Cosmetics, I definitely want to come out with a new brush set, that is for sure. Because I feel like we've done really well with like blending brushes and like powder brushes, but in terms of like foundation brushes, I think that's what I really want to look into. Anyway, I'm going to use a flat brush like this, and I just like to sort of push the product in and then blend. foundation is done you can see how much I love this combo if I want it to be a little bit more natural then I would definitely just use the dual one on its own um, but I've just been loving that at the moment and they're going to use the Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the shade Golden Beige I love this it is such a good concealer the shade is perfect for me as well because it's got really like yellowy undertones which is so nice. I'll pop a little bit on my chin, which is my nose, and then my eyelids, just because, I don't know, I always do this. <laughs> and then I'm gonna use this Beauty Blender. It's got an, like, it looks like a triangle. Can you see? A bit dirty. Um, it's from Sigma, and it is the best Beauty Blender for your concealer, because it can really get in to your eye. Can you see? It's just amazing. So I'm just gonna, Blend that in, it's basically done. And then I'm gonna get a smaller beauty blender and then blend that in on my eyelids. So if you haven't got as much time in the morning, you can sort of skip this next step and just go straight in with powder. But I am going to cream contour, and my new favorite cream contour is the Maybelline Instant Anti Eraser, mas not mascara, <laughs> concealer. But I use the shade 13 Cocoa, and it's a really good shade for me to contour with. And it's got a sponge at the end, and you sort of twist it. And it's a really good applicator for contour because it's very precise, and you can sort of monitor how much product you want out. I also like the Born This Way one in the shade Toffee. Um, I recently bought a new one, but it came after this one, and this one is just amazing. So I sort of just do it wherever I need to contour, and it's just amazing. And then I'm going to use an angle brush just to sort of push this in and blend it out. in with the smaller beauty blender and then blend it out on my nose i don't sort of push the product away i just push it in and it'll keep the contour shape for your nose i then put one swipe of concealer like that on each of my face and then i go in again but sort of go in at an angle at my nose just so i can contour it a little bit more and it gets the shape a bit better can you see it like cinches it in so to set my makeup in place first I'm gonna use the Maybelline fit me translucent powder in the shade 10 I want to tap as much as I can into the lid and then I'm gonna use this pointy angle brush and just set my concealer powder off my lip I feel like whenever I do like my base they just disappear <laughs> okay I'm then gonna use the Too Faced Born This Way powder in the shade Golden Beige this is the best powder ever and I just pop it everywhere just to like completely set everything in place and then just to go over my contour I'm gonna use the Hula Caramel bronzer from Benefit I've had this for so long and it lasts ages 
and I just sort of go over. As you can see, my hairline, I feel like it's quite prominent and a lot lighter than my head. So I'm gonna go back with my Benefit, this one, Browsing's Pro Palette, and get a brush like this and just sort of fill in this, and it won't make everything look as different. Can you see like how much of a difference that's made? I do this all the time. I feel like my hair's getting thinner here at the top. So I'm literally taking my hair burst vitamins all the time just to make it a bit thicker. But you can see it just helps and it's like subtle but, and it makes your hair look thicker as well. Okay, so moving on to my eyes. I've been doing really simple makeup. I know a lot of people will be like, this isn't an everyday makeup look. This is what I like to do when I just like to get ready in the morning. So this is like my go-to makeup, my personal, you know, everyday makeup if I was to wear makeup every day. I don't, by the way. I've also filmed a natural, it's like a skincare makeup look in my previous vlog i included it into that because you guys have been asking all the time and it's probably the most natural skincare makeup i've ever done um, and i've been doing that a lot lately literally every day where i don't wear my makeup i'll just put that on because it takes me about two minutes not even to do so watch that video if you want more of like a natural look but anyway i grab my hula bronzer again and i use it on like a flat brush and i'm literally just going to pop this all over my eyelid it will look really dark at the beginning. But that's why we've got this, because we blend it out. You can be really messy with this, like you don't, it doesn't have to be perfect. You can see I'm just literally compacting it all onto my lid and it's not exactly neat. <laughs> and then I'll just go underneath as well, like that. It kind of looks like I've been punched in the face. But I grab my blending brush, it's got no product on it, and I literally just blend outwards you can see it just makes it so much less subtle no more subtle and it just really blends it out nicely and i do this all the time and then if you get any fallout which does happen just have your powder brush like close by then you can sort of wipe away any excess there and there grab my Laura Mercier Stardust Radiant Glow Palette. I love this so much and I use this, oh, there we go, this shade here. I don't know what shade this is in. Rose Gold Melange, Melange, is that how you say it? I'm not sure. And I literally just pop this in my inner corner. It's really subtle but it's beautiful. And then I'll do this on the bridge of my nose as well. to liner i love doing a wing liner it sort of depends how i feel i'm not gonna lie sometimes i'll be like you know what i want to do a wing liner and then other days i just can't be bothered um so i'm gonna show you what i do when i don't do a wing liner because i feel like i've never showed you guys this before um so i'm gonna go back with my brow palette it's such a good palette and i'm gonna go with the darkest pomade here i don't know what the shade is of this but it's just the middle one and I pop it back onto my angle brush that I was doing my brows with and I'll literally close my eyes and dab it onto my lash line as close as I can and just sort of dab, 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 dab. And it will create a line, but we'll blend that in a minute. But the good thing with this, you don't have to be neat because we're gonna blend it out in a minute anyway. So dab, dab, dab. I'm then gonna get another brush and just play around with all of these sort of powders maybe the top three, and I sort of just go over that. Because this brush is a bit bigger, it goes a little bit above where you put it. I am then just gonna put on the Benefit Bad Girl Bang Mascara. I love this mascara. I feel like this is like my favorite. And I'm just gonna coat my lashes. So my mascara is now on. This next step is completely optional. I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of comments below like, you wear false lashes. But I'm gonna use my Amy Rose Cosmetic Lashes in the style Lulu. These are just my favorite go-to sort of everyday look. If I wanna be really dramatic, then I'll use the shade, the shade? 
the style Lola and um, they are very dramatic like night out dramatic but I haven't worn them in like a year because we haven't been out so yeah I'm gonna put Lulu on I have got lash tweezers but they're in the garage and I've lost my other lash tweezers so I'm just gonna use these Ted Baker ones but usually I like to use my lash ones because yeah it makes it 10 times easier and you don't drop it <laughs> so okay lashes are now on i'm gonna go back to this palette and basically mix this one and this together for my blush it is look at it such a beautiful color and then for highlight i'm going to use a teeny bit of the iconic london illuminator drops in the shade original Again, I just pop a little bit on my hand, grab a brush, and literally just go over really lightly. I think I might need a bit more. And then, my new favorite thing to use is this. I actually got it in my Glossy Box Advent Calendar. It's a Sleep Makeup Loose Pigment like, Eyeshadow in the shade, I think it's Trance. Trance, <laughs> I think it's that. Um, and it basically, it looks like this and it's got a little lid you open up. The only annoying thing is it's quite hard to like use. I mean, it's a little bit messy, so I put a little bit of my hand and then grab that same brush and just go over the top. And you can see the highlighter is beautiful. It just adds a really lovely color to it. Because it's a little bit golden, it just, oh, it's just so beautiful. And it's really nice like on your collarbones if you want to, I mean, for every day. But I've got a lot of excess product on my hands. I'm just gonna pop it on here. Okay, now moving on to lips. I'm gonna put some lip balm on. This is the Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream, but it's in a balm formula. And I just oh, smother this on my lips. I'm then gonna use an old favorite I found this in my drawer the other day and I used to use this all the time. If you look back at my old makeup tutorials, I used to use this. It's a NYX lingerie um, liquid lipstick in the shade Corset. I hope they still sell this. Um, and of course, my Rimmel Cappuccino lip liner. So I'm just gonna line my lips. <laughs> I'm going to use the NYX matte finish setting spray. This is so good. I just cover my eyes. And then I'm going to use my crystal fan. You would have seen this in my Amazon haul. Just to set it. It is so cute. And just to add a little bit of a glow, I'm gonna use the Iconic London one as well. Okay, so my makeup is finally done. I just do this all the time. It's like my go-to. I completely understand it might be a bit too, <laughs> that's my straighteners. I completely understand it might be a bit too much for some people, but I just feel like, I don't know, I just like doing this sort of makeup and if I do want to do a very natural makeup, like I said, then I do my sort of no makeup skincare makeup, which is in my blog. So I'll link that down below because I feel like you might want to see that. Ah! So I'm just going to take my clips out and I'm going to brush the curls and I'm just going to straighten the front part of my face. It's like my baby hairs that kink up a little bit. And then I'm going to pop in some serum. This is the GHD Smooth and Finish Serum. I literally just pop one pump in my hand and then I just sort of rub it in and then blend it into the ends. Don't do your root because then that's when your hair will get a little bit greasy. But yeah, smells amazing. I'm not too sure what to do with my hair. Like, do I flip it? Okay, so I've sort of just flipped my hair over to the side just because I feel like there must be some sort of moisture in the air today. It's just it's just fallen a little bit, so I don't know why. And I feel like every time it sort of falls, 
I always flip my hair over because it gives it that little bit more volume. <laughs> little bit it's just dropped a lot but anyway my lovelies this is the final result i am still in my dressing gown because i went to put a top on and then i thought i'm literally just going to go downstairs edit this video and just stay in my dressing gown so may as well keep it on <laughs> but yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me i feel like it's been so long since i filmed one and honestly i really enjoyed it i really want to film a tutorial on how to use the heated rollers so let me know in the comments down below if that is something you are interested in and I will definitely film it for you because I love using them. I should have used it today but I feel like a dedicated video would be best for that so I think we'll wait for that. Yeah thank you guys so much for watching. All products will be linked down below in the description box. Thank you all so so much for watching and for your love and support as always and I will see you on Thursday and I will see you on Thursday for my next video. Bye!